What's up guys? Welcome to Comic Basics. I'm Joel and today's episode, Sabak. Sabak is one of the most terrifying villains in all of DC Comics. He is the creation of Otto Binder and Al Carino. He made his comic book debut back in 1943 inside the pages of Captain Marvel Jr. number 14. Similar to Billy Batson, Timothy Carnes was given great power by forces outside that of Earth. Unlike Batson, whose powers originated by uttering the word Shazam, Carnes received his power after saying the word Sabak. Sabak like Shazam, is an anagram for the demons that he gets his powers from. Satan, Aeum, Belial, Basilbub, Osmodius, Cradius. After using the word Sabak, Timothy Carnes transforms into a giant red beast capable of projecting and breathing fire. He's also granted flight, superhuman strength, superhuman speed, superhuman durability, and then superhuman endurance. By giving Karn such power, the demons had hoped that he could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with both Captain Marvel Jr. and Shazam. And they were right. On multiple occasions, he threatened the freedom of the modern world. He tried to bring America to his knees time and time again, but was continually stopped by Captain Marvel Jr. Freddie Freeman, if you didn't know. But it didn't end there. Each time he tried to take control of America, there was another member, if not Captain Marvel Jr., of the Marvel family willing to thwart his efforts. Carnes later learned that he was the foster brother to Freddie Freeman, and the two had been separated after their parents died. While Freddie went to live happily with his grandfather, Timothy jumped from one abusive foster family to another. Learning how Freddie spent his adolescence angered Timothy, and he immediately began resenting him. As far as powers go, I kind of already listed them, but I'll go through them again for you. He can breathe fire and project blasts of fire from his hands. He possesses superhuman strength, superhuman speed, superhuman durability, and superhuman endurance. And, well, he can also fly. And I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, please hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. Both really do help this channel grow. Thanks for coming guys, I know there's a million YouTube channels out there and for you to take a couple minutes to watch one of my videos truly means the world to me. I hope you'll come back and until then, I'll catch you next time.